developments in a high-profile murder case made famous by the Netflix documentary Making a Murderer Tonight. A judge has ordered the release of Brendan Dassey from prison. His lawyer and family hope he's out for Thanksgiving. Dassey is serving a life sentence along with his uncle Stephen Avery in the slaying of Teresa Halbach. This summer, a judge overturned Dassey's conviction. The state is appealing, but while the appeal plays out, a judge says Dassey should be allowed supervised release. Colleen Henry and Nick Bohr have been following the story since it broke in 2005. We begin with Nick outside the Columbia Correctional Facility in Portage, where Dassey is hoping to be released. Nick? And Patrick, he was hoping that that would be happening as early as today, but that apparently is not happening because of a last minute appeal by the state. Of course, Dassey's being held here at the Columbia Correctional Institution where Jeffrey Dahmer was murdered. Dassey, now famous in his own right, could soon be walking out of those doors. Convicted of the sexual assault and murder of Teresa Halbach with his uncle Stephen Avery in 2006. Brendan Dassey was just 16 years old. He'd later be sentenced to life in prison with no chance for parole until 2048. Now, he's now 27, but his lawyers have continued to appeal those convictions on the grounds Dassey's convention, confession rather, to police was unconstitutional, citing Dassey's diminished mental capacity and his mom's inability to look out for his well-being. That Netflix series, Making a Murder, as you mentioned, breathed new life into Dassey's cause. This summer, a federal judge in Milwaukee granted Dassey a new trial. He wasn't released from prison then, though, pending an appeal by the state. As we mentioned, that same judge today ordered his release, but the state is appealing that now, too. And when he is released, Dassey would be under a federal supervision, anticipating Dassey's lawyers late today told WISN 12 News that Dassey will not be released today, but they hope to have him walking in out of those doors here at Columbia Correctional very soon. Reporting live in Portage, Nick Board, WISN 12 News. Dassey's lawyers have until noon tomorrow to come up with a plan for living arrangements. Colleen joins us with more on that. Colleen? Well, Patrick, we got a sneak peek at what Dassey's attorneys have planned for him when they filed this request to release him during his appeal. Now, Brendan Brendan Dassey is serving a life sentence based largely on his videotaped confessions, which a judge has now tossed out. We went in there, we tied her up, and he stabbed her, and he told me to cut her throat. Now the same judge who tossed his confessions has ordered his release while the state appeals. This is a family that has I've been riding this horrible roller coaster for 10 years. You know, they have faith in Brendan. They have faith that the system will get to the truth and has gotten to the truth when it <laughs> declared that Brendan's confession was not reliable. Dassey is now 27. His lawyers told the judge he'd moved to a trailer in northern Wisconsin with his mom, Barb Janda, for a few months, then transitioned to an apartment in Brown County where he'd get educational, vocational, and therapeutic services. His attorney hopes he'll be home for Thanksgiving. The family is, is over the moon. Brendan and his mother have spent 10 Thanksgivings apart, and the idea that he could be home by Thanksgiving is, I mean, talk about tasting gratitude. <laughs> And his lawyers declined to comment on the state's request for a court order to stop his release, saying if that happens, they'll deal with it. Thank you, Colleen. Stephen Avery is again appealing his conviction for the murder of Teresa Halbach. His new defense team says it is retesting hundreds of pieces of evidence. A jury convicted Avery. Prosecutors said he lured Halbach to a salvage yard on Halloween of 2005, then killed her. She was working for Auto Trader magazine at the time. Avery had recently been released from prison after serving 18 years for a rape he didn't commit. Avery has maintained his innocence in Hallbach's murder, saying sheriff's deputies tried to frame him after he filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit for his wrongful conviction. Now, the breaking news in Brendan Dassey's case is making international headlines, and the best place to stay updated on any new developments are WISN.com, as well as on our free app. There you'll find the Dassey order documents, and you can also read and watch our previous investigations.